Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Be earlier today, I had no idea what I was going to talk about, but as the time was going by, little things came to my mind. Then I watched Brian's video. Thank you, Emmy, for letting me know. I get behind on my videos, and Emmy said, I don't know if you saw it or not, but Brian told me a hello. Because he was, he told me a long time ago that he was going to introduce me to his Aunt Patsy. That's the one that I remind him of. And I got to meet her today. So hi, Aunt Patsy. Hi. Hi, Brian. And I also wanted to tell you, there's a little video I'm going to put in right here. I guess we'll go to that. There's a little video, so let's put it in right here. Grass from the neighbor. Oh, so the where the all went. Get that. This is where all that grass went from that trailer. And it was full full. Twice. I'm cutting your head off. That's okay. Cut me off. No, no, I've got you. <laughs> sort of. Cover it up. Just a simple plastic cutting. These over this one. Helps to. Nothing gets in keep the grass out and keep the rodents out. Yep. The grass in and the rodents out. And what do we use it for? Nesting boxes. Yes. And it's all winter and all summer. And they eat some of it. Oh yeah. They, they eat quite a bit of it actually. If I put it in the main section, they want to lay their eggs there, so I don't put it in the main section. I just use it in the nesting boxes. I didn't know Jim was taping me, as you could see. I said, what, are you taping me? I actually said that to him. And he kind of chuckled, and you heard that, I'm sure. I um, put three eggs under Dorothy. I kept trying to move Dorothy to the broody house, but Dorothy was having nothing to do with it. That's how Dorothy got her name. She always wants to return home. So I told Emily, while Emily was here, that if she has chicks, say the chicks hatch, they should hatch a couple days before we leave for our little vacation, that she will keep the chicks in the main chicken house because that's where Dorothy wants to be. So she's got three eggs, but when I went to check to see how many eggs she had under her, she had four eggs, so I had to take one of the eggs. She's 
Oh, sweet little hen. She's even nice when she's broody. I also wanted to mention a little more on color. I don't know if you notice I'm wearing pink today, but this pink has some orange in it. See the orange? Who would think that they put orange on a shirt with pink? I wouldn't have thought of it. And when I was younger, I had a paisley shirt that was green and blue. That was also a taboo color. And they also say that you're not supposed to wear white after Labor Day. But people do now. A lot of these things have changed. There's not that rule that says that you can't do it. You can do whatever you want to do, I guess. And as I get older, I can wear whatever I want to wear, no matter how wild. That's why I like vacations, because sometimes nobody knows you. Well, actually, nobody knows you when you're on vacation, except for the people that you bring with you. Mm -hmm. And you can do some really crazy things and nobody would know that you, that's not you typically and you're comfortable doing it. But if you're home, you wouldn't, wouldn't even dream of doing it because those around you would think that you went off your rocker, which maybe I have. Who knows? But they don't know it. Well, they might think it though. Well, that is it for today. I hope you haven't gone off your rocker and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. You didn't say where you were from. Oh, yes, I did, didn't I? I don't think you did. Yeah, I did. I said I'm from western New York, in case. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.